Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. Have you ever had a table of data that is in the calendar format and you would like to convert that into a regular table? Something like this. In this video, I am going to show you not one but two formula based techniques to convert such a calendar format into a tabular format. Of course, you could use other tools like Power Query or manual copy pasting also to do this job. But uh, this is actually a formula video. So I will showcase some formula techniques. And if you would like to know more on how to do the same job with Power Query, do drop a comment and then I will add a subsequent video on how to do the same with Power Query. Let's get into our calendar. So here is our calendar table or calendar format data and here is the output. As you could see for each day in the calendar there is a corresponding value and what we would like to do is we would like to extract that into a tabular format like this. So here is my tabular format grid. There are two columns in this. The first one is the date one. And this is fairly trivial to get because it is a calendar. Of course, the first date is going to be first of the month. And then you can just use the drag down or fill handle to just fill up the rest of the dates for which you want to extract. Because there is not a lot of mystery in that, I'm not going to go into that. But this is the value that we would like to extract. Uh, and uh, there are two formulas that you could use. The first one is sum ifs. And this is a very, very simple formula. It will work very well uh, for numeric values. So assuming for each day you have some number value and you want to extract, you can use some ifs for that. Uh, but if each day you have some text value, like the name of the client for whom you had the appointment or whatever, then uh, some ifs is not going to work. So I'll just to demonstrate that here. I'm just going to move those things to the side. Uh, let's just say I want to extract the value for uh, 3rd of August. Okay, So we put the date in a cell and we can use the sum ifs formula. Most of you might already be familiar with sum ifs formula. Uh, the way this normally we use it is in a table we can just select the dates uh, as uh, uh, sorry the, the value as the sum range and uh, dates would be my criteria. Uh, and uh, that would be my input date and that will give me the answer 12181. But this only works if the data is in a tabular format. What if we have it in a calendar format with the two dimensions? Even then you can use some ifs. So this is something that most people don't realize. But you can apply some ifs on a two dimensional range as well. So what we will want to is we want to extract the number. Number is in the alternative row and criteria is in the first row. So we will select this data. Notice how I'm selecting. I'm leaving the first row and then just selecting everything. And then comma, criteria range would be one row from top. So we will just select that bit up until 31 August. So we will leave the very last row. And criteria is 3 August. So now if you observe this formula, what this is doing is in the red colored rectangle, it will look for 3 August. So it will find that value. The corresponding value in the blue colored range, the sum range will be this value and the result will be 12181, which is same as that number there. So this is what the sum ifs is doing. We can use this formula to answer the question. That's the first formula. It is a very simple formula to construct. All we have to do is select leaving one row and make sure this is absolute reference because we need to fill down this formula and just select from top all the way except the very last row and again make that absolute reference and criteria would be 1 august 20 and we will get 7296 and you can just fill this down uh, without formatting and we will get our answers as you could see they match with whatever i have actually typed in so that's the first formula. This works very well until you have a text value. So let's just say there is some text because sum if can only sum up, it will not work with text value. So it will not work in this case. So that's a problem. It won't give an error. It will simply say zero because uh, it cannot sum up the text values. 
So in such cases, you could use the index formula. The index formula technique is slightly more complicated, but again, very, very easy and uh, useful, especially when you have data in either calendar format or alternating rows format or something weird going on and you want to extract like that. So the index formula technique, this one I'll just write the word sum ifs here. Uh, in the index formula technique, this is actually, uh, there are a couple of moving parts here. Essentially what we want is given a two dimensional range like this, for a date, we would directly get the B8 value because 3 August corresponds to this particular value B8 and we will just place the output result as this. So the way index formula works is you can give a range. So you can say uh, all of this range, I want, for example, uh, the row number would be 4 because uh, 3 August goes into the fourth row and column number is 1 because 3 August is on the very first column and that will give me 1 to 181 because index has no limitations on text or number. Uh, you can put anything here, you can say text and it will give you the answer as text. So the first part is easy because that is always there but how do I get the number 4 and number 1? This is where uh, if we can use some other formulas to generate those numbers. So what we will do is we will break this index formula into three chunks. I'll just delete that. One is row number, the other is column number and then the final result. So we want to first generate the row number. Row number is that number four from 3 August. So all we have to do is if I can actually first extract the column in which 3 August will fall then I can look in that column where 3 August is through match formula and then add plus 1 to it to get the number 4. How do I get the column in which 3 August would be? This is a calendar that has Monday through Sunday values. So all I have to do is first find out which day of week Monday is, uh, sorry 3 August is using weekday formula. Weekday of 3 August and because it's from Monday to Sunday I just have to find the a return value that will give 1 for Monday and 7 for Sunday. So that will be number 2 and that will just tell me that 3 August can be found in the very first column. So then if I can get the very first column and run match on that, I will get the answer. So this is what we will do for row number. We will simply say uh, match 3 August in the We'll take all of the data so through index all the data we want all rows column number will be weekday of 3 august with the return value as 2 in exact match so this will just get the fa very first column because 3 august is uh, monday so it will give you very first column and then work this so this is what the internal index function does. Index function can return an entire column of data uh, if you uh, if you just ignore the row part of the index. So just specify an array and don't provide any row number, but give a column number, it will give the entire, uh, all that column. So then match will find where 3 August will be and give you the answer. Of course, this will say 3 because it will just find 3rd August and then stop there. We want to go to the next row, so we will simply add plus 1 to it. Uh, and this is where uh, Excel thinks that's a date. I'm going to format it as a date, so I will not. And for column, uh, this will be simply weekday of 3 August and 2. That will be 1. So my final result will be index of this data. Row number is 4, column number is 1. And we will get 1 to 181. Again, same as sum ifs because this is a number, but once we have text value here, uh, my sum ifs formula no longer works, but my index formula will provide the answer. So that's how the second formula works. Uh, I have already written this formula in the blank cell here. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. And let me just fill this down. I'll walk through the formula once again and we can see the results coming up nicely, including the text value result. So let's just examine this. What we are doing here is exactly same formula, but everything is put into one big formula rather than chunked into row number, column number like that. 
So we start off with the range B5 to H16, which is my original range. Match B26, which is the August 1 of August 20, in the column that corresponds to 1 August. And then add plus 1 and get the value from the column, which is same as 1 August. And that will give you that answer. So there you go. This is how uh, you can use both sum ifs and index formulas to extract uh, calendar format data into a tabular format. Now this approach is really useful and helpful but if you are doing this on an ongoing basis like uh, you know every month you have to write these formulas then a better option would be to use Power Query to take this calendar table and turn that into that table directly. I want you to take this up as a challenge especially if you are learning Power Query uh, and uh, you are looking for some interesting data wrangling challenges. Take this up. Uh, if you are looking for some inspiration or understanding of what Power Query is, how to use it, please refer to my recently released Power Query tutorial video, which is quite long and helpful and elaborate. It will cover all the aspects of Power Query. If you still want to learn how to do this with Power Query, drop a comment and I will try to make another video on that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in another video. Bye.